Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm going to be making a pencil holder which will be mermaid themed. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, I currently have a cold, so that is why. Let's get started with the video. So in this video, I actually had to speed it up quite a lot just because it took a while and the video would have been really long if I didn't, so I hope that's all right with everyone. So first of all, I was going to leave a clear section in the middle of my jar, but it ended up really being really difficult, so I decided that I would just do a sort of gradient of um, paint going down the jar. This is just acrylic paint I'm using on my jar like I've done in several other videos. And here is what the gradient looks like before I add any other details. So for my jar, I actually wanted to make the details on it in 3D, so I made little clay figures. Again, I'm just using Daz air drying clay just because it's really easy to use. Uh, I used some icing tools again to sculpt with. Here I'm just making some scales to go around the top um, which you just need to squish them into sort of like a scale looking shape and then stick them on using PVA glue. And then I'm just using my icing tools to sort of smooth out the clay and get a nicer shape. Here I'm just rolling out the clay because I wanted to cover the top bit on the jar so I'm going to make some little ropes going around the top which fits into my mermaid sort of theme. And then I'm just using one of the other icing tools to make little dents in it making it look more like rope. And here I'm taking the seahorse sketch from a while ago and I'm just filling in the clay on the top of it just so I can get the shape looking right. And here is the first layer of clay on the sketch. Oh and here's just a little look at the clay uh, before it was drying. Here I didn't think there was actually enough scales on the top bit so I added a few more on. And here I'm just sticking the seahorse on again with PVA glue before it dries. I also put a layer of PVA glue on the top just because it all looked like it was cracking a bit so I thought I'd stick it all together. And here I'm putting the last layer of clay onto the seahorse just to make it um, stand out even more. And I just carved out the little eye and the details on the clay. And here is the clay seahorse stuck onto the drawer before it dries. Then again I'm just making some more scales but this time they're going to go in the bottom of the jar just to make the design uh, look more together. Oh and I also made some little um, clam shells as well which go around the jar too. And I made one big one on the back so you'd have the seahorse on one side and the big clam shell on the other. And here I'm just making some little seaweed out of um, rolled clay. And now I'm just moving on to painting it all. Again, I'm just using acrylic paint to paint the whole thing. this project you could make loads of different designs on an old jar bottle. It's a really cheap project, it's also really fun, so definitely try it out if you want something creative to do. Oh, 
once I had painted everything, I decided to put a layer of glitter on the whole thing just to make it look more magical and mermaidy. And here is the completed jar. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cool with the sparkliness on it. And you could store whatever you wanted in one of these kind of pots. Definitely try this project out if you're bored and have an old jar lying around. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!